back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So if you've been here for a while, you know that we have talked a lot about AI on the show. I'm sure you know my feelings about AI. Hate it, hate it, hate it. And while I will always say, always, that these new advancements are incredible because they seriously are, they're brilliant, I will never say that they are good for us as people or really any good for society on a whole. And my main gripe with AI is the way that it is quickly stripping humanity from basically everything it touches, specifically like music and art and poetry, all that. Not to mention the even more concerning examples like the AI friendship chat bots, the AI girlfriends, the AI sex bots that are out right now, like none of that is good for us. You will never hear me say that that is a net positive thing for society. Like in general, we are quickly replacing things that are so emotional and personal with tech. But until now, most of this tech had been contained on our phones and our laptops. But now the Apple Vision Pro has come out. And with this new advancement, it seems like people could be more disconnected than ever. We have to talk about that. Before we do though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode or one of our Friday live streams. All right, so this is the new Apple Vision Pro. They literally look like ski goggles. I will admit they are a lot sleeker than the, oh gosh, what are the, Oracle? No, they're not Oracle, are they? Oculus, obviously I'm really up to date on my VR, AR, MR, whatever it is. So basically what this is, it is a augmented reality headset. It's not virtual reality because you are actually seeing the world around you, so it's augmented reality, I believe. And all the apps that you are used to seeing on your phones and your iPads are populated right in front of your eyes and they are available for you to use literally right in front of your face. You just pick up your fingers, tap, tap, tap. You can FaceTime, you can watch movies, you can take meetings, you can answer emails, you can text, you can literally do all of it just right in front of you. Now it genuinely looks insanely cool. I would love to try one. I think it would be a crazy experience. I'm not used to any of that, so I'm sure I would have a headache and maybe pass out and need to nap for three days. However, <laughs> I do think it would be cool to try. I don't wanna live in one, which a lot of people are doing, which we will talk about soon. But it does come with a $3,500 price tag. So all the people that you see walking around with that headset, $3,500 a pop. And it also comes with a side of interpersonal relationship doom. So these glasses have only been out for 48 hours. We are already spotting them out in the wild. We just need to go through some of these videos that are going viral on X. This is my favorite. God. So she's driving the new Tesla Cybertruck, which has barely come out. I think only a few people have them. She also has the Vision Pro. Like, this girl is fully teched up. I wonder if she's the person that just got Elon's chip planted in her brain. She seems like she's on the cusp of all of that. So this lady, no hands on the wheel, tap, tap, tap. The car's just driving. She's like, I'm in the Cybertruck. I can't be hurt. I could kill other people because this truck is like a tank, but I'm fine. Tap, 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 tap. You're gonna see me do a lot of this because this is literally what people are doing. We're walking around like Thriller. <laughs> Somebody said, just send the asteroid already. Another person said, my parents told me not to get close to the TV. It'll hurt your eyes. Now they are connected to your face. Yes. Now, a lot of people think that this tech is very cool. They want it. That's the reason why we're seeing people walk around with this on, you know, 48 hours after it launches. But seeing it in the real world in videos like this, a lot of people online think that it is very dystopian. They are concerned about it for good reason. Matt Walsh tweeted, on that video and he said our dystopian nightmare hellscape has arrived. Putting one of these damn things on your head is a sign that you have finally given up. Daniel Onyx said, Jesus isn't coming back, is he? And he quote tweeted this video where this guy said, using TikTok on Apple Vision Pro has changed my life. Hey guys, just wanna show you what the TikTok experience is like on the Apple Vision Pro. I, uh, I am able to uh, consume as much TikTok content as I want at any given time. That's literally my nightmare. That is absolutely horrifying. That alone is not good for somebody. Having multiple TikTok accounts is not good for your mental health. I would know I have multiple. But anyway, back to Jesus. Maybe this is the thing that will actually bring him back. This will be the trigger. This one also killed me. It's just it's so wild. I think this is in London. So he's walking his robot dog with his Apple Vision Pro. He has a fake virtual reality, augmented reality leash thing that he's walking his dog on in his Apple Vision Pros. The only thing he's missing is his AI robot girlfriend. And the guy is fully set. Never has to speak to another human again, never has to leave his mother's basement. <laughs> and something that genuinely makes me sad about this scene is that with that robot dog, he won't need rough greens. And rough greens is the best part of my morning routine with my dogs. And I know it will be for you too. Rough greens knows that dog food is dead food and your pets are just as important as you are. Rough greens 
Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants <laughs> that your dogs need. And the best part is you don't have to go out and buy some fancy expensive new dog food. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on the food you already have every day and you will be leagues ahead from where you started. Rough Greens supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dog. The team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. And that free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to roughgreens.com slash Brett, or you can call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that is roughgreens.com slash Brett, or you can call 877-66-MY-DOG today. I'm just imagining trying to cuddle with that damn robot. I think I said that when I was talking about the robot girlfriends. Terrible. Cuddling is one of life's great pleasures. We should not replace that with robots. Somebody said Black Mirror was a documentary. It literally was. Somebody else said Dwight Schrute is spotted in London. Let's go back. It really does look like him. Down to the yellow shirt and the ill-fitting suit. This guy can spend thousands of dollars on a robot dog and $3,500 on goggles, but can't buy a fitted suit, sir. Priorities. All right, this last one that I want to show you is a bit more realistic. It's a, like a more normal sighting that might be coming to a city near you. A little less robot dog, a little more average Chad. He's just on the subway. In the zone. It's just, it's not normal. And I know that that makes me sound like a boomer. God, you are aging so rapidly. I don't care. This is weird. It's so odd. I don't know. Maybe we'll get used to it one day. We haven't gotten used to it yet. We've had like the glasses that you can take pictures. We've had the Oculus. This is a totally different ballgame. Somebody said it's a trailer to Ready Player One 2. Listen, I'm telling you. Black Mirror was a documentary. Ready Player One was a documentary. What else is a documentary? 1984? <laughs> We're already living in that, my friends. Basically every dystopian book and movie and TV show is coming true right now in 2024. One guy commented under that video and said, with the cost of $3,500, I'm surprised we haven't seen a video of one of these guys getting robbed yet. Seriously, people don't even bring nice purses on the subway. And you're wearing that? We're about to see them. I'm sure they're about to get mugged. Also, I thought that this was a funny chain of events that happened in the comments, but uh, Marquez Brownlee, who is a big tech YouTuber, he commented and said, the keyboard only supports pointer finger input. He's trolling y'all. However, in a classic internet turn of events, the guy from the video saw this and he responded. And this was his view from inside the goggles. He was literally recording. Here he is on the subway. Tippity tap, tap, tap. Tapping away. Texting, answering emails, he has pictures pulled up. It's just, it, it is weird. It's cool, but seeing it in the real world, you have to admit that it's weird. And of course, because it is a weird social phenomena and a huge cultural defining moment, it's basically the biggest wearable tech launch since the Apple Watch, The Simpsons had already made an episode about it. And they made that episode back in 2016. Watch this. <laughs> Ah! Escuela de Medicina de Harvard, John Hopkins. Mm -hmm. So freaking weird. Somebody commented and said, but this isn't anything like the Apple Vision Pro. Just because they have a headset on doesn't make it relatable. How is it not like the Apple Vision Pro? It literally has the cord and everything. Are you daft? It literally looks just like it. Even if this episode was made about Oculus, and I think that it was because the first Oculus headset came out like a few months after this episode dropped. You're, even if it's about that, you're missing the point. What The Simpsons was predicting was the social response to that tech. The disconnect and the quick adoption and total dependence upon it. Where we walk around staring at apps and screens more than we already do, rather than looking people in the eyes. Where a husband and wife lay in bed on their devices instead of actually communicating with each other. Virtual reality communicating with each other instead of rolling over and touching one another. Where our already overstimulated brains can now have six TikTok screens open at all times. Just thinking like, what's the point going outside anymore? If I want to touch grass, I just I just pull it up in the metaverse. I just pull it up and I can see it. I basically can touch it. Just pinch. That's not great. And obviously there are people making the argument that, well, we already do that with our phones and our myriad of other devices that we wear and that we have. Yes, if you're walking with your phone, you do have to look up every once in a while to communicate and interact with the rest of the world or drive, etc. With this headset, you can technically see everything around you and the apps are just embedded. So there's no real reason to take it off. In my opinion, it is just another advancement, albeit very cool, that is pulling us farther and farther apart. I think that the tech is an incredible achievement, but you will never hear me say that this is good for humanity or bridging the social and emotional divide that our society is very obviously facing. This is not the solution we need. 
I actually think this will make things a lot worse. Well, guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye.